preliminary final win must give you a lot of confidence going into the granny. Yeah, look, uh, it was a good win, uh, especially after half time. Um, you know, we we played really well after half time, which was good. So yeah, we're um, looking forward to the weekend. The first quarter shootout um, probably took a few people by surprise. Where did you see it going, um, and, and what did you do, I suppose, to arrest that a little bit? Yeah, it was. Uh, it's obviously the way we didn't want to play. Um, however, <coughs> East Point all year have been a, uh, a very good side at, at, at kicking, you know, high scores. So, um, yeah, quarter time we were a bit uh, concerned with it. Um, but in the sec last part of the second half and, and towards, um, sorry, the last part of the second quarter and the last half we were able to close them down a little bit and not allow them to score us freely. Uh, Tom Lamb's movement forward again served you well? Yeah, look, uh, as, as most people know, Tom's a, uh, a pretty good player. Um, for a 20-year-old, he can play at either end of the ground, and um, you know, that's an option we have. Any notable ins or outs this week? Uh, no, we didn't, you know, no injuries. So the 22 that played last week um, you know, are all fit to go again this week. Uh, a, a very big bonus for the club is to have all three grades in. Um, it's a fantastic achievement, and with also three netball grades in as well. So. We do have, uh, you know, last night of training there was um, in the senior group over 50 players training. So there's, you know, players there that are putting their hands up for selection. Um, whether there's any changes or not, that'll if there is a change, it'll just be on four. So there's no late tests coming out for any players in particular. No, no player will have any. Yeah, everyone's fit, ready to go. Uh, what I've observed about Sunbury is a really potent forward structure. How would you go about combating that? Yeah, look, they do. They've, uh, you know, got some talls and, and some real dangerous smalls as well. So. Um, you know, like, like most weeks, it's about uh, limiting the, the chances the forwards get um, and when the footy does go in there, not, not having free footy flying in. So if we're able to, uh, you know, uh, slow the ball down going into the Sunbury forward line, um, we think our backs one-on-one -on -one can, uh, you know, mount a pretty good challenge. So controlling midfield's going to be critical for you? Yeah, it will, but, you know, uh, between the two arcs, between the 50s will be really important. Um, both sides will be trying to slow the footy going into uh, either forward line. So, look, if we can control it and, and the footy goes in with height, we think our backman will be able to get the job done. Really fine where this forecast for the grand final. You see that as being a benefit to the side? Um, yeah, look, it's it'd be better than playing in the rain, <laughs> for sure. Um, and, and look, you know, this time of the year, most finals are, you know, firm grounds. So, um, the East Noble, terrific surface. So, yeah, look, I don't think it's going to be, uh, affect one side more than the other. Um, but, yeah, uh, the weather should be a good day. Uh, last weekend, shootout, and then the game was locked up. How do you expect, how, do, how would you expect this week's game to be played out in terms of the style of football that you're expecting it will be? I think we'll see a very different first quarter than what we've seen on Saturday. And perhaps you can elaborate how you expect it to be different. Um, look, where one of our main measures as a side is our one percenters. At quarter time, they were below. I think you'll see a fierce contest for the first 15 minutes of the game. Most grand finals you do. Um, think back to a couple of weeks ago in the AFL when the pre uh, sorry the first final Collingwood and Hawthorne, <coughs> and there was just tackle after tackle. I'm, I'm pretty sure um, every grand final that I've seen in the Ballarat Football League, um, the first 15 minutes is very hot. So. Compared to what we've seen on Saturday, I think we'll be seeing a different picture. Uh, in terms of a, a style of play, um, what's, what, how does the game have to be played for, for it to be played on your terms? And, and conversely, how do, you don't, how do you not want it to succeed to be played? Yeah, like I said before, I think the side that control the tempo of the footy when the opposition have the ball, that'll be the big thing. Um, if somebody get free moving footy through the middle part of the ground, which we've seen uh, two, three weeks ago against us, um, you know, as we said, their forwards are very dangerous. Um, and, you know, also our forwards last week were, were quite dangerous <coughs> when the footy was moving in there pretty quickly. So the side that control the game tempo um, when they don't have the footy, you know, it'll, it'll go a long way to winning the game. The guys that you brought in last week, um, have they done enough to ensure a place in the grand final? Um, yeah, I think so. Like I said, it, it's uh, we're in a, a great position that we're able to to have so many players to pick from because we've got so, all three grades in. Um, Nick By came in last week. Um, you know, he had some strength to our ruck division. 
Uh, Nathan Halbury's returned in the last two weeks, um, gives us some good use through the midfield. So look, you know that. Um, will we make a change? You know that's yet to be seen. If there is one, it'll be you know probably for matchups and form, not because of um, you know anyone hasn't put their hand up for a spot. It'll be because we think you know player A is needed to, to beat somebody. Uh, the other side of that equation, uh, how <coughs> nervous should the guys be who were out of the team last week from the previous week? Yeah, look, that um, they've done everything right. They've trained. Um, the players that didn't play last week, they the reserves trained Saturday morning with the under-18s. Um, so they've done everything right to get back in. It's now just a matter of what the coaching uh, panel think is the, the right 22 to get the job done on Saturday. Thank you very much.